Well, it's weathering again, so we are stuck inside again. Um, it's freezing drizzle right now. I don't know if you could hear it on the sunroom window. But the lighting in my house sucks, so we're, we're trying to make the best of it. Most of the lights, I don't know, give halo effects? So we're trying this. Um, it's a little update. I'm sorry I missed Sunday. A lot was going on. I was planning to do my uh, top books of 2022, uh, best books I read. I mean, I like giving out book suggestions. I actually wrote an article on it too, but I don't know. I guess we'll do that next week. Um, but part of why I didn't post on Sunday, partly I'm just feeling a little lazy, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. But also, I uh, had an interesting, I guess, fallout with a friend. Uh, I'm sure you may remember, I did a video a while ago uh, in the summertime, I believe, about uh, being asked to be maid of honor for a friend of mine. Uh, I'm actually no longer going to be maid of honor. The whole thing really left me dazed and confused. Uh, she doesn't like JR, that's no secret, and you know what, that's fine, not everybody has to like you. I'm sure there's people that don't like me, and that's fine. She, out of nowhere, messaged and said, he's not invited to the wedding. And it's not like a budget thing, like I could bring whoever else I want. It's just she doesn't want him there. And after thinking a lot about it, I mean, we're a package deal. We're together. We've been together for years. It's not like I just met some guy and want to bring him. She knows we're a package deal. So I did tell her that, and unfortunately, I had to. But her response is what confuses me, because, I mean, it was all too bad, but it was also, well, he can't come. A lot of people are uncomfortable that he's going to be there. And that's what confuses me. First of all, I wasn't begging for him to come, so I didn't need any further explanation. If you don't want him there, you don't want him there. But now I do need further explanation. As we don't live close to this person. Several hours. He doesn't know anyone that's going to be at her wedding. He would have only known me and her. So I don't understand how people would be uncomfortable with him coming. And I feel our fallout is because of that question left unanswered. She doesn't even refuse to answer that question. She just isn't answering any questions and has shut down completely. Which is what's super confusing. Like, I wasn't mad at her. It's her choice. It's her wedding. Of course she can approve the guest list. That's, it's her event. 100% agree. Down for that her event. I'm just confused as to how people that don't know him are uncomfortable with him being there. I honestly have no clue. And that's what's really hard, just not having an answer. And she won't talk to me about it at all and had said that she's been advised not to and that was pretty well the last message I got. But honestly, the last, I would say, two or three messages from her were very cold and businesslike and not her. So, like, I don't even know what's happening. I mean, I can guess all I want. That doesn't mean I know anything. Um, <laughs> the Lady in Fangents page on Facebook has actually helped me a lot. Um, a lot of ladies with similar maid of honor story, stories or maid of honor horror stories, I guess, not necessarily the same, but I mean, I guess Bridezilla came out and it's unfortunate. And I do feel like it has just ruined the friendship because again, she can pick who she wants to come to her wedding, but something fishy is going on and she just refuses to talk or explain it or clarify. So I don't know. Uh, some of my friends think either her mom doesn't like me, which I don't think is true, but I mean, you never know. Some people think someone else in the wedding party wants to be the maid of honor, which could be true based on a couple of the people I met for planning the bachelorette. 
But I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I would have only known her and her parents that were gonna be at the wedding. I've never met her fiance. And if it's a problem with both of us, don't just say it's him. Like I'm just super confused and wanted to update you guys just as to where I've been, why I've been kind of bummed. I mean, I know a couple of my coworkers noticed the other day, especially Dave in the cab. He, bless him, he's a sweet man. <laughs> I'm glad I have friends like that. Which is why it's, I mean, friendship breakups are hard. I'm, it's not my first, I'm sure it won't be my last. But you know what? You're not meant to have the same friends from birth to death. I mean, it can happen, sure. That doesn't mean it will for every single one of your friendships. And I was explaining the situation to my mom and she was like, we don't wanna go just throwing away all of your friends. She you think I have only one friend? I mean, I have a lot of friends and quality over quantity, am I right? But I don't know, maybe it was just cause, I mean, this truly was my closest friend, so it is harder. But I mean, I'll be back. Same bat place, same bat channel, but Hopefully cheered up some, maybe we'll do a book review or a food thing, you know, something cheery next week. Sorry for the, uh, I don't know, just different day, I guess. <laughs> just different in general. I just, I'm really confused. Thoughts, comments of anyone or, I don't know, happy thoughts. Oh, there's one thing I like about the Ladies and Fangents fan page. If like I posted that confusing thing and some people gave me advice, but I mean, there's people in that community that'll be like, here's a cute dog pic to cheer you up, which is so sweet and honestly helpful. And poor JR too. I mean, I know she doesn't like him, but he's really exclusive. I mean, he's great though. He's just like, oh, well, I wouldn't want to go where I'm not wanted. I wouldn't go anyway. And that's, good on him. He's such a great guy, which is why it's so unfortunate. It's like, I'm fairly certain he's gotten like childhood bully flashbacks, but I mean, haven't we all had something like that at one point? But anyway, hopefully I can move on and move forward with or without this person in my life. Uh, even if it is seeming like without, that's the choice she's made and that's fine. I mean, just because we're friends doesn't mean she has to tell me everything, right? But I think that's the only thing I'm so... Well, I'm confused about the whole thing, but I think that's just what I'm angry at. I know her mom was like, I'm sorry you're angry, and it's like, but at that point I wasn't. I was just hurt and confused. But the lack of her trying, I guess, made me angry because I thought we were good friends, and... It just seems like we're not in the end. And you know what? That is okay. I do have other friends. I I have a really good support system in my life. And like I said, quality of friends over quantity. So I just got to keep that in mind and hope that makes it easier. But thanks for listening. And I'm sorry it's such a downer, such a downer video this week. But I mean... Life's not always sunshine and roses, right? Besides this thing, which, thank you, Linda. I don't know how this became the favorite gift in that box you gave me, but yeah, just, you know, feel the feelings, but don't dwell. And that's what it is. But thanks for listening to me. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll, See you on Sunday next time for sure. <laughs> Bye.